You can take an entire course including topics in this video through our website and get a certificate of completion from RASAF, the online educational radio frequency institute located in Irvine, California. Instructions and coupon for taking this course is provided at the end of this video. In this part we are going to talk about signal to noise ratio. Signal to noise ratio or SNR is a measure used in science and engineering that compares the level of desired signal to level of background noise. It's a very important measure and we use this to see uh, to observe how noisy system is so as you see here the SNR is equal to the power of signal over power of noise and we always want to have a high SNR it means that we always want to have a low noise power and high signal power so we we, we want to minimize the noise so it means that when we minimize noise we will have low noise power so uh, SNR is a very important factor and it depends on our design, it depends on application, and it shows the acceptable level of or the noise. Of course, we will have noise, we can't get rid of noise, but there's acceptable, there's a limit, and we say SNR can't be less than this value for the system. And we also define this, um, uh, in decibels, we can uh, find the logarithm, so we say SNR dB is equal to 10 log SNR, so this part is SNR just have to uh, find the 10 log and now we are going to show a very simple example about SNR we are going to calculate SNR so as you see in this picture this is the dBm level so this um, this green wave this green uh, um, line is the received signal power this uh, signal power and this is the noise flow we can say it's a noise power so we are going to find SNR here so uh, if you find the SNR it we said it's equal to power of the signal to the power of noise or power noise power pn i showed pn so our signal power is 1 milliwatt so i say 1 milliwatt and the noise power is 0 0.1 milliwatt so this is equal to 10 and if we find the snr db snr db it's equal to 10 log 10 which is again equal to 10 as well so as you see here when, when we are in dbm dbm domain the difference between these two powers uh, is uh, snr so this one is 10 here so this is this value is 10 log uh, 1 milliwatt and this value is a uh, 10 log 0.1 milliwatt hey guys thank you for watching the entire video i'm going to provide you with a coupon for taking our fundamental basic concepts and components ra rf 101 so you can uh, get this course from our website if you go to the page you just have to select the buy this course and register here as you see if you're not registered up to now so you need your username email password and also you have to answer a security question and then you can uh, press the uh, register button, uh, press the sign up button and uh, you will be able to uh, register in our website Then after that all you need to uh, do is going to the, the course landing page and uh, go to check out and as you see click to enter your code you can put the, the coupon code here and then apply the coupon so then you will have this course for free and you can uh, take this course as you see you won't pay anything for this course Rasoft has one of the most complete online certificate in radio frequency available which covers practical topics needed to be a knowledgeable RF engineer. Since all courses are consulted closely by design engineers and pioneers whom have worked as RF engineers in top RF companies such as Qualcomm, Broadcom, Skyworks, Intel and Apple as well as avionic companies. It covers the necessary information to land a job or successful in your career. Your first step to take the prerequisite course, RAH RF101, which we have provided the free coupon for it, RFPREREQ101. See you there shortly.